So I'm out here in uh, Knox County at that bigger farm, the 700 acres that we're in the process of dividing up. And I'm on the south side. Um, there's a few tracks that are almost identical that we're kind of focused on selling now. They're in that uh, 20 to 30 acre range. Both have uh, water, as you can see behind me. Uh, both have a little timber. Um, I was hoping to get some cool drone footage today, but uh, just found out that the drone that I have is no longer compatible, at least for now, with the uh, iPhone 10. So that was fun. So uh, I'll figure that out. But so today we're kind of doing some ground footage only. But I am on the let's see the east tract right now. Sorry, it's pretty windy out here too. But I think this one's going to be around 30 acres. Behind me, you can see there's a bunch of pasture, um, kind of gentle slopes enough that if you wanted to get in like a dove plot or or some prairie grass or something like that, it'd be perfect for that. Um, but this lake is super cool. Again, wide open, kind of hidden, tucked away back here. And uh, I will try to get back into the woods and get a little footage back there just to show you guys some of that. Uh, and hopefully walk around here, get a few few more clips. And again, hopefully within the next week or so, figure out how to uh, get that drone working again. But uh, this one is for sale now or will be uh, very shortly, along with another one just to the west that's very similar. Some of that 20 to 30 acre range with a nice lake. Uh, a little bit of timber and some pasture land to kind of do whatever you want. So, so as you can see down here, kind of by the lake, they have a little area cleared, cool spot to store boats, maybe throw a fire pit, kind of tucked away, pretty private back here. Here's a, a little better view of this lake. It's pretty deceiving on the map. It doesn't look quite as big as it is. You get back here and this is a pretty big lake back here. Uh, can't see quite as far back here to the east because of these little cattails here, but uh, you can see the water extends quite a ways past them. Here's a little better view of that finger uh, extending back to the east. You can see they've got a, a nice kind of mowed trail system for kind of easy access everywhere. Okay, so now I'm on the uh, the other lake on the west track. I think this one's a little smaller, still a nice size lake as you can see. I think this one is, uh, man, I think closer to three or four acres, but uh, cool lake, little timber behind it. As you can see, they've kind of cleared a little area down here to keep their boats, picnic tables, things like that. But uh, another super cool lake, tucked away, kind of private. I'm going to try to sneak back in some of this timber just to kind of give you a feel for what it looks like. And uh, again, I wish I could get the drone up in the air, but uh, not so lucky today. So uh, let's go check it out. Hey, so I'm walking across the uh, dam of this lake here. And this is the overflow that little grassy area out there some weeds have grown up grown up around it but uh i can hear it running so water is it's at full pool right now which is if anyone's been paying attention this last year has just been like as dry as any year that i've been a part of so most of the lakes that we're seeing including like most of them that i own are down like a foot two foot some are down four foot so the fact that this is full tell me that there's plenty of water coming in through here and you're never going to have a problem with this thing drying up so uh that's a good sign so here's one of those kind of nice flat spots up top be a cool spot to do a uh a dove field or a deer plot something like that but a pretty big plot i don't know just looking at it, it looks like it could be uh i don't know maybe a couple acres here here is uh access to both of these tracks on this nice kind of private gravel road get you back tucked away uh, kind of rare so you're pretty private even though you're only buying, you know, 20 or 30 acres, you're pretty tucked away back here. And there's a shot of my drone just sitting there in the front seat. Won't fly. Pretty excited about that. So here's a shot of the uh, entry gate that you'd use to uh, access the property. So you can see this timber behind me. Um, I'm not going to go too far in there. We're still waiting on the surveys for the exact property line. So we don't know where those are at yet. So I'm not going to go go prancing back there when I don't know how far those property lines are. but. At least we, we think there's going to be enough timber to pad these lakes. You could get in there and, you know, not a ton back there, but enough if, if you want to put up a deer stand or a few ATV trails. I think the, uh, let's see, the east tract is probably going to have a little more tillable, not tillable, a little more timber than this west tract. Um, but regardless, um, you're going to get a bunch of deer coming out from this timber just walking over this dam. Um, the trail looks like almost like a cattle trail they've been using it so much. So 